think that um, you know only that we had to uh, Teresita uh, is one of the more uh, powerful person that I have in my class. Uh, she's always challenging me, but she on, not only allow us to have an investigation, she allow us to experiment, you know, and to live, you know, for a moment, you know, her life. And this uh, ceremony is very um, dear for her. Uh, she was, she has fighting for this ceremony for several months. And we are always trying to say, oh, well, how you are going to justify, you know, with the books and everything. And she said, I don't know how I'm going to justify. But I think that this is um, a, an experience that to open us our mind, you know, that sometimes the students want to be a, a testimony, because she's a testimony. This is what she's doing. She doesn't have a book. She say, I have read this, I have that, this is my testimony. And I always, you know, encourage the, the, the student to do that. You remember I said the Vanya allow the person to talk. Well, we are allowing Teresita to talk, and she is the voice of a group that she feels is, has been marginalized. And I think this is a good opportunity to, for us all, you know, to open our mind and our heart and say, okay, okay, she has a testimony, she's a living testimony. I am, you know, very thank you for all of you to come here, you know, <laughs> uh, uninvited because we didn't invite them. They are coming here because they want to ask to show and to teach us and to give, guide us. You know, so thank you very much. Yeah. Five minutes. I'd like to take a little break. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, if we open, what if we open this is the back? Well, the piece ran out, so it's time to go. Ready? Again. Okay, the next presenter is um, Why You Are a Woman. Sancho el Grande. Sancho. And this is discipline. And 
really, I enjoy to have him in his class. He's always, you know, giving anecdotes. He learned a lot about me. He interrupted me in order to give another anecdote about anything. And um, he is a Mexican now. <laughs> he is, uh, I asked him, you know, to go to Santa Cruz because he didn't know so much about uh, Guaracha and Mambo, and I sent him there. <laughs> and he went, and he left, and he made a report for me about La Guaracha, Mambo, and everything. Do you believe this? <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> yeah, you know me. And um, no, so he, he's one of these person who has his heart open for everyone and his mind open for every culture. He, do, he didn't do a stereotype, a stereotype, you know. This is the culture I got, you know. I want this culture. And so really I respect pay for that, you know. He's one of the few students who really, you know, is always smiling, always, you know, attentive, you know, respectful. Um, he doesn't think he's, he knows everything because he knows no one eh, knows everything. We are here to learn and to be guided. Thank you, Reverend. And thank you, Dr. Maria Seguin. Loud, please. My name is Pei Patient, and I'm trying to do this project in English, both in English and Spanish. Perhaps it's English. <laughs> <laughs> American culture in Salinas. Okay. Sure. Este, buenas tardes a todos. Bienvenidos todos a la Universidad um, CSU Manuel B. Uh, nuestro, nuestro instituto de uh, World and Cultures. Me llamo Pei Pation, soy en, en Grande China hace nueve años y estoy enfocando en mi, en mi especialidad en español. Espero que me entiende usted a todos, porque no hablo muy bien. Eh, hace unos años. Okay, Salinas. Um, before I begin, I just want to know how many of you live in Salinas or you came from Salinas? Into Salinas? Hmm. <laughs> yes, most of you. Yeah. Salinas es una ciudad de Con, con, con la mayor población de mexicanos y latinos. Es decir que hay más de 60% de la población latinos um, concentrados en mexicanos. Porque así no después de la, la Segunda Guerra Mundial, hace menos los obreros brasileños a trabajar um, en en la profesión de agricultura. Okay. The Mexican American cultures. So, what's that is? Why? Partially uh, because I'm a Mexican for more than nine years. And partially because I love the, the city so it's very um, well powerful and that was diversified. In Salinas, there are more population other than white, so they are the majority. We have Mexican, of course, Chinese, German, Filipinos. Okay, how do we define culture? From the Webster's dictionary, culture means that it is the um, heritage of a society of group of people put it together and we share the, the knowledge and the customs also with the traditions. Okay, um, how am I going to incorporate with my studies in the Episcopal University, Sesco Manuel Bay, as my major in Spanish. Now, we're about to find out. Okay, here's the um, mural painter that I, I took pictures at the uh, East Alifa Street. Thank you, Manny, for your uh, opinion. Okay, <laughs> 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 este, yo tengo experiencia personal en Salinas, como hace 
hace nueve años sobre el plan de China, de China correctamente y hablo de China, ambos en Madalín en Camones, los dos. Yo tuve un, un choque cultural y ¿qué es choque cultural? Pues yo, honestamente, este, yo vine en una, una cultura bon, bon, monopoli. Es decir, que en, en, la, en la ciudad que, que yo vivía en, antes en China, hay puro, 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 un 100% de chinos. Ni un blanco, ni nadie, ni mexicanos al menos. Como yo, yo no esperé que yo veo muchas razas en Salinas, como por ejemplo la raza mexicana en especial. En especial. Por eso, como yo fui a la. La escuela secundaria de Alice High School y me graduó en el año 1999, digo, perdón, 1995. Y desde allí conocí muchos libros que con cuyos, con cuyos apimentes, de, apimentes de que hablan españoles. Y son los docentes mexicanos, africanos. Y muchos de ellos, como yo, son inmigrantes. Pero son de Y este, me enseñaron en la escuela los bailes mexicanos, por ejemplo, de la panda y la cumbia. Así son mis favoritos. Y también en, en el salón de, de lonche o aborzo, en la escuela se, se, se viene este, la comida mexicana en Tepical. Por ejemplo, trae borritos y tacos que se pierden. Ok, right here I want to talk about a little bit about the history of Salinas. In Salinas, before then, there was um, a swamp of, of uh, wild fossils back in the 19th century, not too the cattle ranchers they came over to Salinas and for the for the uh, exploitations. Um, when I first saw that, it was a little town, uh, called a Aguirre. When they came with uh, about 1,700 or so whites and 102 Chinese and only 8 blacks to the town. When I first like, began it. And also before that, it was um, the land of the, the Indians. It's like Doña Teresita mentioned, the Indian, in the Chinese people. But in uh, Aztec, is that the Colombo, which, which is the, the culture um, different from Aztec, but yet similar to them, because native and the Indians. OK, then afterward, the Spanish conquistadores uh, they came to Salinas <laughs> and the, uh, the job of the, the land at the, the anchor at uh, San Diego Bay and to just migrate to north, northern California and to the southwest. Okay. They brought the, the missionaries, their language and their religions. <coughs> and also the cross and the saw. Is what they rather like. Not very really concerned with all the first mentioned in our classes. <laughs> okay, at the um, at the era that we, we came by, which was after World War Two, and before that, I'm not sure how many of you heard about the Mexican American War back in 1948. I'm sorry, 1848 which Mexico lost half of this uh, territory to the Americans. That's why most of the, me of the Mexicans, I guess Mexican Americans, they stay on the other side of the border, which is on the side uh, behind San Diego. And this one, they, they just stay right here and have their, they have become permanent. 
Gemal, and as I mentioned about the Mexican uh, population in the town of Salinas, it's been the majority minority. So it's more than the majority, I guess, white that's in, in the power in control of the, the politics and the economy. Okay, since then, uh, since the first uh, discovery of um, Salinas has become um, a booming history um, industrial of agriculture. And now, um, as you jump, jump to Salinas, you can see the broccoli fields and the um, metal steel around, around the outskirts of um, Salinas. And I guess that when the photo of the Ecampo, Broccoli, we just I guess this the again uh, and like I mean that the blanco as it is. Okay, to begin with, the processor program was the, the time that brought most Mexicans um, relating to the Mexican Independence Day, I mean, or the Mexican Revolution. Then many Mexicans came over to the US for looking for a better job and then. They stay for this time and they become some comment to the Jews and US citizens. Okay, and the uh, Brazilian program was uh, first picked, started in the 20th century, was signed by the US and Mexican government for the offer the, the Agriculture workers to the U.S. due to um, the lack of um, um, the lack of employees <coughs> in the U.S. and they have the contract for for them to come over as and temporary workers. It lasted to the 60s. Naturally, um, as a little food, this is still is continuing this uh, process. Went up, and as you can see, many of the Mexicans, Americans, they are illegal in the town of Salinas, and they don't have any legal documents for for to work here. Um, since then, this Salinas has become a, a big agricultural land. In the 1920s, it was the wealthiest. Um, the capital in the whole nation of the U.S. Okay, here is the picture in our textbook. It's called uh, Mexican American um, History in America. They work at the fields of uh, strawberries or lettuce, perhaps, at the northeast side of Salinas by, by the crazy horse. And there by the Oxlade Road. And the the hardwork uh hardworking people can just stand up and then the bags and pick the strawberries without without any things. Just work. work. Gracias a mi a mi profesora, Maria Salina, ella me mandó a a los padres americanos o hispanos que me decir que es así me, me rendí los pares de panda, dumbia, salsa, belenque y además de otros que le mando a, hasta la Santa Cruz como hay un armas impresionado y se lo agradezco la plaza para ella and also the um, La Taza Aztec, Azteca, for gracias a Ayos of the Dinos, a los Dinos que recibe en Vestimentos Aztecos. Las estrellas, Vestimentos y Atlante Pailas, Pailas Aztecos. Esta es la parte de la cultura. Mexico, Americana, and Salinas. <coughs> this is the uh, photo 
que fui yo también en el estudio de Guillermo Alanda, que es uno de, de mis entrevistas que yo hice para este proyecto. Él pintó esta, esta pintura para sus, este, sus, sus ah, alianzas de, de mitad para, para emprender más cultura mexicana a, a nuestra comunidad. En Salinas, still is under a, a heavy populated Mexican culture. So, somewhat in some way, we still have our Mexican heritage uh, festivals, such as Cinco de Mayo. Have you been to the Cinco de Mayo festival? Right here in the school? And also around the town. So. El Día de los Muertos, which is on the 2nd of um, November of each year. The origin of this um, this festival is um, about 3,000 years ago in, in the Aztec culture. And now it's uh, mainly um, operated in the estado de Oaxaca, Mexico. Okay, Tecrito. Okay, Tecrito is the the second second week of the, the the month of September. They just want to memorize the the festival festival they had for the Independence Day, which is on the 16th of September, for the independence of from from Spain Spain <coughs> in the Latin country. Also, I about the and the idea that the Raza is similar to here in the US is called the uh, Manupas Day. And <coughs> just because it's just uh, the member of um, La Doña uh, Malinche, with um, <coughs> around both this had the, the first famous uh, mestizos in the history of uh, This is the one of the photos I I get for the for the day of the dead. It's for you to to get a picture. Tatan Azteca. ¿Qué nos va a ver? Que este en en la Tatan Azteca este hay muchas danzas en en Salinas como ese tipo de Azteca por ejemplo en el Western State en en la en la en el colegio de Arnel durante el año y hay, hay programas de Casa Azteca en Salinas en, en la calle Irving y Arizal en la casa de, de los bomberos. Ok, just right here, I want you to focus on in the part of the festival, especially in the European. Um, the festivals of Maria Jesus were popular. We have the same that Corinthians, the, the traditional songs of Mexico. Okay, and Las Pinturas Morales as well as our way for focus. No, we have to want to go to Mexico and uh, Salinas because we come from the West Market Street in Cross by you can see the train, the train station and there's the pavement, the pavement. And also at the at the East Alifa Street you have your I mean our blue pavement. This pavement by Philip Savela. That's one of our centers in the <coughs> also, the groups of the, um, the musicians they, they come to our town to to perform. It's very popular in the in the Mexican in the Mexican Independence Day, and just 
just for them to feel as, um, as, as good as the Pantas, the Oasis, in the, in the nightclub, the Michelin Air. And also, Solona, Solona, uh, Santos, they also live in the Oralic uh, area. So, if you have any chance, just go on and visit them. It's not in our time. Okay, um, aquí está la foto de, de pintura Bolares en Salinas y yo sé que este, bueno, los niños están trabajando con, con las paredes de Salinas. Es muy maravilla que hay que jugar los niños para una de su <coughs> comunidad, como para ser su propio um, propiedad, haciendo los pastillas. Okay. Aquí está en la composición. Okay, I'll talk about the Mexican American crystals in the in the top salinas. Get the dances. And if you like, you can go at the salinas to like that and just turn it up yourself. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> and also the history of salinas is where it's very touching. Mm -hmm. And also it's very um origin to, to the tops um, of Salinas when I and not as not only Mexican American American people and as to the others as well. Here the program uh Brazilus Brazil program. And from this project I have learned more than I have not thought about the Salinas as only a Mexican or white family city in the area, but also I know more about my people as Chinese as they first came to Salinas. And the others, so that's just pretty good. It's very good. The majority is the white family. And I am proud to, to <coughs> say thanks to the, my interviewees, such as our former professor and my former advisor, Dr. Ray Gonzalez, and Guillermo Alanta, who is the, the real amirist in Barcelona. Because of this, I he is the director of the program of Build the Soul, that he can make a great contribution to our world group. And also one of my former Spanish teacher, Dr. Del Gulesco, who is the instructor in, at Hunter Forest. He gave me so much uh, inspirations for me to, to go on to find out more about Salinas and special guests for my instructor, Dr. Salina Marina, and my advisor for Dr. Donella, and for everybody who's here, who's here, and one year. <laughs> 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 <laughs>